One Hall started a few years back, and originally we were able to bring the community together to assess what the needs were. Um, we looked at all types of data, brought community leaders forward to just talk about actual things happening in the community and where the deficits were. I've been on the board of uh, directors for the United Way for um, almost six years now, and I began to analyze the calls for service that we were doing at the police department and realized that a lot of our um, high stress, use of force uh, situations involve people with mental illness. And I knew that the model that we were currently doing with taking people to jail, making our jails the largest mental health hospitals in the country was just not sustainable and there had to be a different way. So I began to research around the country what else was going on in this um, you know, co-partnership with mental health clinicians and being part of the police department came alive. We wanted to put a licensed professional counselor on staff in order to go out with law enforcement and address any type of needs that came up that law enforcement wasn't able to necessarily deal with. And the hospital truly made it possible. I am a licensed professional counselor and I've actually been a therapist since 2003. I've worked closely in forensics. I'm a forensic interviewer. Having been in forensics and worked around law enforcement for a while, when I saw this position open, my heart was just already there. Part of what we're doing with this program is hopefully destigmatizing and making it clear that, that mental health is, um, is a right and it's something that everybody should have access to, just like medical care. So the hospital stepping forward and actually raising the funds from the community to support this community program, I think is what's gonna make it uh, just dynamic and, and everybody's bought in. It's not just my idea. It's not one hall's program. It's a united way to do something. And uh, so them being the vessel to, to bring us all to the table and the hospital say, we've got the funding, it helps us out you need it in the field, we're gonna save lives. I mean, at the end of the day, this program saves lives, and that's what's important. I feel like Gainesville and Hall County in general are very well stocked with community resources, um, but not everybody knows how to reach those. And a lot of times, people interact with law enforcement because they haven't had the resources that they've needed. Not that they're not available, but they haven't really been able to access them. They didn't know about them. I'd like to be somewhat of a liaison and help um, bridge the gap between those resources and the community. I think that it shows the passion and the commitment that uh, law enforcement, that um, the health system has for the community. We're in a pilot stage of it. We want to see it grow. But 10, 15 years, I, I think people would laugh to think of a police department that didn't have mental health clinicians on board. You know, if we look around the country at everything that's going on with law enforcement right now, uh, there's things that we've got to do different. There's a lot of things that we need to do better. And one of them is addressing mental illness. 